the way that this deck works is that in this game, you are guaranteed to have a basic Pokemon in your hand, right? In every battle, you will start the game with at least one basic Pokemon in your hand. So, this deck only has one basic Pokemon in it, and that's Onix, because Kabuto does not count as a basic Pokemon, because it evolves from the Dome Fossil, and, do and fossils count as trainer cards. So you are guaranteed to get Onix in your starting hand no matter what. And then Onix pairs with a card called Brock, which essentially lets you put an extra energy onto either an Onix or a Golem that you have. Essentially what this means is that we're guaranteed to get Onix, we can power it up with Brock, and then start like playing early beatdown. And then our carry in the back is Kabutops, which is a one energy Pokemon who is really hard to get rid of unless you one-shot it because its attack heals it for the amount of damage it does. So it's just like a very annoying deck to deal with. Okay, so something that's really funny about um, about this game is that the player who goes second has a massive advantage because the turn one player does not get to place an energy and therefore usually can't attack. Um, technically, the advantage that the turn one player has, in theory, is that they um, is that they get to evolve first, right? But that almost never comes into play. Just ends up being that turn two is much more preferred since you get first attack. Double Meowth? We're playing Double Meowth, okay. This guy's trying to draw his entire deck. Which is funny, because if he gets stuck on Double Meowth, Onyx one-shots Double Meowth, so... So yeah, essentially that's how this goes, is... If he doesn't evolve into Persian or get this Meowth out for something with more than 70 HP next turn, we one-shot it. I'm curious as to what- Oh, it's a Dragonite deck! It's a Dragonite deck. He has lightning and water energy on his bench. Yeah, there it is. The, um, Dratini. And actually, he's got water next, so his, if he can get the Dragonite out, it's pretty much full power. Interesting. Turn 2 should get nerfed, not being able to use the supporter card. I think maybe turn 2 shouldn't be able to draw on turn 1, I mean would be like how I would tackle that. Oh my god, wait, red card is actually huge here. That guy's got seven cards in his hand. Yeah, fuck off. So the odds that he has a Dragonair are pretty low. Essentially how this works is the following. If he doesn't have Dragonair, because he, he's going to put in Meowth next, right? Because he's going to want to draw another card. If he doesn't have Dragonair, if he can't evolve to Dragonair this turn, I use Sabrina, bring in the Dratini, knock it out, and the game is over. If he has Dragonair, he has a chance. Does he have Dragonair? This is the big moment. Ooh, wait, if he plays a basic Pokemon... Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll be able to knock out one of the Dratinis. Well, no, we have a choice here. We have a choice. We can either knock out one of the Dratinis, or we can knock out the Meowth and stop them from drawing cards. And I actually think that knocking out Meowth here is better. Because the only reason why we were going to knock out the Dratini before is because it already has two energies on it, so it has, like, good setup. Uh, I can't remember how much Dratini's- or not Dratini, I can't remember how much Dragoner's attack does. Uh, just in case, I'm gonna use- I'm gonna Potion. I just, just kind of forget. But we're gonna knock out Meowth here, because I don't want them to draw another card. So yeah, it's the exact same thing here. If they draw Dragonair, they have a chance. If they don't draw it, we automatically win, pretty much. 80? Okay, well then I'm, I'm glad I did that, because then Onyx could have died to um, uh, Giovanni. So I made the right play by potioning. Oh wait, they just put in the Tresini, we win. Wait, th that's literally the entire game, we just win. 
They don't have Dragonair. Sweet. 4-0, baby. Just for the Ego play, we're gonna spin in their, their Dratini that has all the energies on it. My opponent will end the game with zero energy. Dude, what can I say? Onyx Beatdown is just OP. Do it in shorts. I mean, like, the current format that people have been going with is, um... Ooh, okay. I see you, I see you. You've got the Mewtwo card that's, like, the highest rarity card in the game. By the way, we're going first again. I think that's four or five in a row that we've gone first. Kinda nasty. Uh, do we play around routes? Let's just red card, why the fuck not? <laughs> Maybe he has routes. Split your audience, but not really. No, it'd be my second channel. I don't I don't really care about my second channel. Like in terms of like variety content type of stuff. Woo bat. Motherfucker's running Mewtwo Woobat. And he has Hand Scope. Am I about to lose to somebody who runs Woobat Hand Scope purely because he's using Mewtwo EX spam? Is that what's about to happen to me? Ooh, we got Brock. Okay, that's huge. Next turn we can start. Slapping the Mewtwo. If we can beat the Mewtwo, and then he puts in the other Mewtwo, and we Sabrina it out, and then finish the Blue Bat, that's like how we win this game. It's not gonna be easy. There's like a lot of things that could go wrong, but at least there's an angle, right? Okay, so we have to potion, we have to play around Giovanni. It's Giovanni Psychic Sphere kills. Alright, if Mewtwo does not get potioned here, we knock it out with Giovanni Land Crush and then we win the game. Because then we can use Sabrina next turn to spin in the Wubat. Slash Swubat. Got the Giovanni Land Crush to knock out the Mewtwo. All right, and now the now the play is he brings in the other Mewtwo, places one energy on it. We spin it back with Sabrina, hit the Swoobat, and then we work from there. If he has um, an XP, he could bring the Swoobat back out for the Mewtwo, but if we draw Kabuto... Then it won't matter. And if he doesn't have an X-Speed, we win no matter what. So the, the only way we lose is if they X-Speed and we never draw Kabuto. That's it. Because we can Sabrina this turn, bring in Swoobat. Next turn, if they don't have an X-Speed, They'll have to attach an energy to Swoobat to retreat it, bring back in Mewtwo, and then we double Sabrina, bring in the Swoobat again next turn, and then knock it out. Got it? Got it. 
So we, lo we lose to XP, that's it. Nothing else. And even if we do get xp we still have an out if we draw Kabuto. Yeah, so this is the predicted play. We place the energy on Swoobat. He's gonna retreat it, bring in Mewtwo again. Okay, we lose to red card. If he has red- Oh, wait, no, he has xp Why did- Why did he energy Swoobat then? Wait, he just misplayed. He, he completely misplayed. He should have put the energy on Mewtwo and knocked out my Onix. Okay, cool, we get a freebie. Awesome. Oh wait, I'm griefing. Why did I do that? <laughs> no, wait, I played the Brock by complete accident, by the way. <laughs> no, wait, that's like the ultimate BM, by the way. I have a Sabrina. We were gonna win this turn, I just played the Brock like on pure impulse. Oh my goodness. Um, here, let's retreat. Yeah, let's retreat Onyx. He can knock out a Dome Fossil. God, this is so scuffed. Yeah, we win if Kabuto, and we win if he puts nothing else on the bench. Other than that, we lose. I, I, I literally might have just, like, played myself into a hole. We were gonna win the game this turn. That's so funny. That's actually hilarious. Okay, so we win if Kabuto. Another Onyx, okay. Alright, then we win if he puts nothing on his bench that has more than 70 HP. God, why do I hate myself? Why do I just play like this sometimes? This game was so free. If he attacks, we win. If he okay, we win. We win. It's fine. It's fine. Never punished. Hashtag never punished. We win. It's 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 all good. Everything is good. We were just we were just hitting him with the roundabout BM. red card just for fun. Hashtag never punished. From his perspective, I played phenomenally because I was stalling for my second Sabrina. He doesn't have to know that I had it in my hand the entire time. <laughs> he doesn't have to know. Nobody has to know. Alright, we're 7-2. and two. A win is a win. Gotta make sure Pikachu is the strongest mod. Uh, except that's not true because the strongest mod is um, Onyx Kabutops. The best deck in the game. Look at that, we, we top decked two Brocks. How do we lose? What's funny is that double Brock doesn't actually mean anything if we're going second. It only matters if we're going first. Another Pikachu deck! Three Pikachu decks in a row. Alright. It's the best of three. We won the first time, we lost the second time. Gen.G, Ruler, KT phase. That's what I heard as well. I think it's a good fit for Ruler. A lot of people are coping. They're like, why would they ever replace rookie, superstar, young talent pays with old man washed Ruler? And it's like, that's not how that works. Like, Ruler's still peak. And he's showing no signs of slowing down. This is actually completely fine, by the way. For him to use Sabrina like that. Because we have two Brocks, so that doesn't really hurt. And now we now we actually just have double setup, so. 
we get two land crushes no matter what, guaranteed. So we at least knock out something, essentially, is, is what's going on here. Pace was LCK and Yag. I kind of agree. I think that Pace was hard carried by his team. And I feel like that's kind of cool. Okay, we're pecking. We're pecking so that way I'm in Pikachu range for Circle Circuit. However, I have Potion, so I'm lucky. Sending in Raichu. Wait, they lose. No, unless he has Lieutenant Surge, he loses. Because Raichu, lo Raichu um, dies to Giovanni Land Crush. If no Lieutenant Surge, I win. Okay, there's Lieutenant Surge, actually. No, he still loses. He still loses. He, he dies to um, Giovanni Land Crush from my other Onyx. Wait, GG. Holy moly, we beat... Pikachu again. This deck is cracked or what? Imagine not playing around Giovanni, SMH. I don't know, without a Brock, this is kind of yucky. If my deck is too slow to deal with Weezing. If this guy whips out turn 2 Weezing, we probably just lose the game. Oh! Uh, he's playing um, Weezing Dragonite. I probably should have been able to tell that from the energies. I didn't check. Oh, we got a Brock. Nice. Best red card ever. And the fact that he... Uh, yeah, let's see. Does he have Weezing? Maybe, maybe we're fast enough. Maybe we're fast enough. I don't think so. I, I think they're gonna win. I think this is a bad matchup for me. I think I'm I think my deck is too slow for this. Okay, we can at least draw a second onyx here. Start powering that up. Interestingly enough, this guy doesn't have Dragonair yet, so that's like our win con. There's no dragon there. If he doesn't draw dragon air this turn, we win. Uh, because I'll just um, Sabrina the Weezing, and then his triple energy Dratini will will die. If he has Dragonair, he has a chance. If he, if he drew a Dragonair or a Professor's Research, he has a chance.
Okay, GG. Nice try, Wheezy Dragonite. Or Wheezing Dragonite. But you lose to the Onyx Kabutops. It's probably a, a forfeit, right? Yep. Nice. Alright, so what did we go? Like 10 and 3 or something? 9 and 3? Something along those lines? Good enough sample size that I think we can um, conclude that Onyx Kabutops is pretty good. I, I like this deck a lot. I think it has a lot of potential.